Hi guys, oh welcome, oh welcome back to my YouTube channel. So like you can probably already tell by the title of the video, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a makeup look that I did for Rakhi. So Rakhi is pretty close and so are all of the other festivals and I'm so very excited for the festive season and I'm gonna be starting with my festive content. This is the first video. And uh, this is a makeup look which is a bit on the harder side. It's going to be a neutral glam look but it's not one of those easy looks that I mostly wear. This is a bit on the harder side and if you are a lot into makeup this is a look you will like a lot but if you're a beginner who isn't that into makeup this is not going to be a look for you but you might try out. Who knows why you might end up liking right? So I'm going to be uh, taking you through the look I'm going to be teaching you little tricks and tips and tricks I'm going to be sharing with you for the look and all of the products that I'm going to be using are from Amazon and I'll be tagging them all below in the description box so you can check that out all of the products that I'm going to be using today are under a thousand rupees if I remember right if not I'll mention the price range somewhere around here or here and you'll be able to see that right about now and I'm sorry if you can hear the thunder um, it's raining a lot where I'm from currently and yeah, if this video is something that concerns you, let's get into it now. But again, before I do that, I have to remind you guys to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this particular video. And if you like my videos in general, consider subscribing to my channel. So yeah, let's get into the video now. I'm going to start with the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline New York. I'm going to apply it on my eyelids and using this tiny little blender from Pack Cosmetics, I'm going to blend that in. Next up, using the Makeup Revolution New Neutrals Palette. It's a beautiful matte shade. This one is in the shade Blushed. I'm going to use this deep pink mauve shade and I'm going to apply it using this thin pencil brush from Pack Cosmetics. I'll apply the product in a wing-like shape and using this thicker blending brush from Mars Cosmetics, I'm going to blend that in. It's a very light blended wing shape right now but I want it to be a bit more concentrated deep pink so I'm going to pack a little more color in the shape in a wing shape like that and I'm going to blend it in again but I need it to be a little more darker so I'll pack a little more color in. And that's it for the wing. Now I'm going to take this light pink golden shimmer shade and I'm going to apply it on the outer corner of the wing. And I'm going to pack in a little more shimmer because I want it to pop a little more even though the color is not that bright. I love the shimmer. Next up, I'm going to use this deep pink shimmer shade. I'm going to make a curve using my index finger in the inner corner and blend it in. From the inner corner towards the middle part of my eyelid and blend it in together with the lighter shimmer shade. And then I'm going to apply the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in my under eyes and blend it using the same blender that I used before. For the concealer, I've used a shade lighter than my right shade to highlight my under eyes and give my face that glow. Next up, using another thin pointy brush, I'm going to apply this copper shade in my inner corners and that's pretty much the eye look. Next up, I'm applying the mask Take a Glow Primer. I'm only using a little bit to apply on my cheeks, my chin, my forehead and my nose and that's going to add the necessary shimmer and glam to my look and make my skin look like it's glowing from within. For the foundation, I'm going in with the Lakme 9 to 5 foundation and I'm going to only apply a little Little bit of it. I don't feel like applying a lot of foundation today. My skin is doing pretty well. This foundation matches my skin tone pretty well. And that is going to even out the lighter concealer that I use to a bit that it won't look unnatural. I'm going to use the blender from Plush Cosmetics to blend the foundation in. Always remember to dampen your beauty blender before you use it. Next up, I'm going to use this face palette from Gush Beauty. This one has a creamy blush and contour and a powder highlighter. I'm going to start using the blush first. I'm going to apply it on my cheeks, my nose and my chin and I'm going to blend it in using this brush from Mars Cosmetics and then using the contour, I'm just going to apply it on the tip of my nose like this. I don't like using contour a lot and mostly I don't use contour but I just wanted to try it a little bit today and I'm going to use my index finger to both apply and blend it in. I'm going to apply it on the sides of the tip of my nose and a little bit on the bridge of the nose to give it like a button nose kind of a look. And then I'm going to apply the highlighter using this brush. I'm going to apply it on the 
highest points of my cheeks my nose my chin and my upper lip i'm also going to be applying it on my eyebrow bones and on the two sides of my forehead on the top of my brows next up i'm going to use the mask eyebrow pencil in the shade brown and i'm going to draw thin lines in because i already do have thick brows and i'm just going to define it not going for a very thick brow look today and using the brush that is provided on the back of the eyebrow pencil i'm going to blend that in next up using the miss claire lip liner i'm going to line my lips in i overline my lips a bit and i draw a line in the middle part of my lower lip and then fill the corners of both my upper and lower lips in and blend it in a bit using my fingers next up i'll use this matte lip shade from gush beauty and just apply little bit on my lower and my upper lip i'm going to apply even lesser on the upper lip than i'm applying on the lower lip so it's a very ombre kind of a lip look and i absolutely love it now i'm going to apply the faces canada lip gloss this is in a mauve pink shade and it puts the lip look together so much better i absolutely love this lip combo i wear this one a lot it's a very nude natural lip look that goes amazingly with every look now i'm going to set the look in using the faces canada setting spray and i'm going to let that dry out once it gets dried out i'm going to curl my eyelashes using a eyelash curler and then i'm going to apply the my glam mascara on my eyelashes this is one of my favorite mascaras it is a really good mascara it's waterproof it voluminizes and lengthens my eyelashes which is really good look at how different my eyelashes look once I apply the mascara. I don't have a lot of eyelashes, but this does the job. Now, I'm going to add falsies in my eyes and that's the look. This is a more of a glam look, so if you are going to go out or somewhere on Rakhi, you could wear this. Maybe you're going to go out for a party or a day out with your siblings. This is a great look for that. This is more like a day look than a night look. If you like glam makeup looks, this look is totally for you. So guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and benefited from it. Do let me know if you have any other video suggestion, anything you would like me to try out or test out or make a video on. Do comment that below and I'll definitely do it. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I will see you guys in my next. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.